A UPDF soldier has been sentenced to 40 years in prison. Former Kawembe South Member of Parliament Mubarak Munyagwa is in trouble. And uh, Sadio Mane has been crowned the king of football in Africa. This is for the football lovers. Welcome to the Buzz UG, a channel that brings you a 360 audio coverage on what is happening in the world of entertainment, current affairs and uh, the sports. My name is Fula and uh, if you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell as well for all the notifications. <music> Now, a UPDF soldier called Piyanku Hussein Mwanika has been sentenced to 40 years in prison after proved guilty for killing one person in Fort Porto. And according to reports, last year, this guy called Piyanku shot dead a lady identified as a Christian Akido, and now court martial has decided that uh, he spends 40 years in prison. We have also been told that uh, this guy was under the influence of drugs that caused him to shoot dead Christian Akido. In another news, and this is coming from uh, the entertainment industry, another Nigerian artist called Chike is coming to Uganda and will be performing at Kampala Serena Hotel. Chike is a very well-known artist on this African continent and he really has great music. In Uganda, he has worked with uh, Rema Namakula on a song that is called uh, Loco. However, some Ugandans on uh, different social media platforms are saying that um, why are Nigerians coming to Uganda at a time like this when we are just from uh, the lockdown because we don't have money right now. Not that we don't want to attend their concerts, but uh, the situation is still not yet good. So some Ugandans are still puzzled about, you know, this whole situation of Nigerians coming to Uganda. But uh, the big man, Chike, is coming to Uganda. Uh, I think today he'll be landing today and uh, tomorrow he'll be performing at uh, Kampala Serena Hotel right there. In another news, a former Kawembe South Member of Parliament, that is a Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa, is in trouble after failing to pay 11 million Uganda shillings to restaurant owners in Wandegea. It's been reported that uh, Munyagwa, during the campaigns of uh, last year, he used to send his campaign teams to restaurants, you know, around Wandegea to have food. And uh, after the money piling to 11 millions, the guy just disappeared. And uh, the owners uh, says that uh, they have reported the matter to police, but nothing has come out. And uh, they have also called his uh, official phone numbers, but they say that uh, they are off. It's as if he blocked them. So they are saying that uh, the next thing they are going to do is to confront him in public and humiliate him. Otherwise, they are tired of waiting. Yes, yeah, so that is uh, the latest happening in uh, Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa's camp. And we hope that uh, he sorts this before it gets worse. In another news, and this is for the sports lovers, uh, Liverpool striker, that is Asadio Mane, is to be honored by his country. And uh, apparently, the government of Senegal is constructing a stadium that is to be named after him. Uh, this is after winning the African Cup of Nations for his country. And according to reports from uh, Senegal, uh, the stadium will be opened early next year. You know, they're trying to appreciate him for what he did in uh, the African Cup of Nations. And I think other countries like Uganda should learn from such situations. Like, for example, in Uganda right here, you find roads that are still called uh, uh, Livingstone Road, something like that. And you wonder, yes, yeah, so it is really good that uh, Senegal is actually naming a stadium after Sadio Mane, a footballer right there. Yes, yeah, so congratulations to this big man right there this is the buzz gg a channel that gives you a 360 audio coverage on what is happening around the world and if you haven't subscribed kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell as well for all the notifications thank you